Some 2020 Democratic candidates are using the media to connect with voters. Pete Buttigieg seemingly taking any and all television opportunities, while others, like Joe Biden, are being accused of hiding from the media. Let's bring in Media Buzz and Fox News media analyst Howie Kurtz. You know, my motto, Howie, is talk more, not less. Yeah, well, that's certainly Pete Buttigieg's motto as well. He does have a strategy, and he, which started when he was an obscure small-town mayor, saying yes to everything. Buttigieg was on 23 television shows in the eight days ending yesterday, including all five Sunday shows. Uh, and he uh, also appears, you know, on, on Fox News. He's a Democrat who's not mm -hmm. afraid to appear on Fox. And even did TMZ Live. Now, what a contrast, Dana, with Joe Biden, who appeared yesterday uh, on the Sunday show for the first yeah, time. TMZ Live, in... that's something that Barack Obama would have done. Let me yeah. show you Chris Matthews talking about how Joe Biden um, maybe should have done some more TV. Watch. For the first time in over a year, well, well, more than a year, your candidate, Joe Biden, has agreed to do a Sunday interview show. Why now, after all these months of refusing <laughs> to do those programs, and I know everybody's been after them, and they will be, I'll be after them, I've been after them for a year, too. Everybody's been after them. We have made it a priority well, to make sure we're speaking directly to the voters, well, to their local media. Uh, okay, uh, okay. And that's what, frankly, mm. we're also going to continue to do. Local media has been very important to us. Local media, does, is, it is important, but is it answering the mail here, Howie? Yeah, that's a dodge. And uh, when one of the most liberal hosts on MSNBC is complaining that he can't have Joe Biden on, it tells you something about the strategy. Now, maybe his team doesn't want him on TV all that much because in his last couple appearances, he has snapped at the anchors, including today's show, Savannah Gussie. It's risky. you got to be able to hit the major league pitching. Buttigieg is very good at finessing difficult questions. And even in this digital age, Dana, Television news is what drives the coverage, drives the agenda. Yeah, but it is frustrating, though, because sometimes Mayor Pete's uh, answers are kind of very uh, confusing and wordy. But I want you to listen to James Carville. He also, he had something to say about the Democrats' problems. Watch. We got to win North Carolina. We got to win Georgia. We got to win Texas. We got to win places like that. The only thing between the United States and the abyss is the Democratic Party. That's it. I'm afraid that Donald Trump is going to get reelected, and I have to do this for four more years, and I don't think we can make it. There's a certain part of the Democratic Party that wants us to be a cult. I'm not interested in being in a cult. I'm, I'm 75 years old. Every, everyone seems like to listen to James Carville, but what about the message? Well, you know, Carville's been out of the game for a while, but he is uh, sending a very dire warning to his party. The cult leader he's referring to is Bernie Sanders. He thinks Sanders is way too left to win a general election. He thinks the Democratic Party is moving way too left. And uh, for Carville, who, of course, helped get Bill Clinton elected, to be on this media blitz uh, tells you that there's a lot of other Democrats who are perhaps being a little more diplomatic uh, in public who are very worried about a Sanders yeah. no nomination, just like Carville. I think there are some Democrats who think it's important for uh, James Carville to be out there talking. Howie Kurtz, thank you.